Hi everyone, my name is Sabrina. Today I'm going to show you how to make stir-fried pasta with shrimp and vegetable. The pasta we're going to be using today is bow tie pasta. This is a pound. I've already um, boiled it and cooked it with a little bit of salt and a little oil for 7 to 10 minutes. You don't want it too soft because you can put it back in the pot pan form the stir fry. Start off with the wet ingredient. We have minced garlic and ginger root, about four um, cloves of garlic and about one tea tablespoon each when you mince it all up. I have about four tablespoons of oil, any oil you want. Olive oil, this is actually vegetable oil I'm using. I also have about two tablespoons of soy sauce for later for coloring also. Um, I also have dry ingredient here, a little bit of salt, a tablespoon, and half a tablespoon of pepper. You can add more or less according to your taste. Um, two optional ingredients are sesame oil. It gives the flavor and the aroma of it at the end. I do like sesame oil, so I'm going to drizzle it at the very end. And also turmeric, it gives the color um, of yellow. Um, I like the color of my food and it also is good for you. With that with the vegetable, I have cabbage, about two cups chopped here. One dice vine tomato chopped here fresh. And two bell peppers, about the same size as the bow tie pasta. Last but not least, we have five ounce of baby spinach. This will go at the very end. So we're going to um, cook and um, let's follow me over. Pasta. I preheated the um, pan for about a minute on high. This, you, have, you can use a non-stick pan. It's preferably um, that you use the non-stick pan so it doesn't get stick, sticky. So before I begin, I'm going to pour half the oil the moment the pan is hot and it is hot. I reserve half the oil later for the shrimp and the pasta. And um, I'm going to put half of the minced ginger and garlic. Save the half later for the shrimp. The shrimp actually will cook later because it's easy, um, it's fast and it's easy, easy to cook. So I'm basically going to put the tomato here. I'm going to put the heat in medium right now. And along that, I'm going to put the cabbage because it takes longer to cook the cabbage. And I'm also going to toss in the bell pepper later. So I'm going to cook the cabbage first. So basically I'm sauteing these vegetables. I'm going to put the bell pepper with it. So I'm going to saute this and have it wilt down a little bit, get it soft. Not too soft because you want to um, cook it with the shrimp later. So right now I'm just going to let it sit here. And to that half of the salt and pepper from earlier. I'm going to save half later for the shrimp. I'm going to turn the heat back on high. And the trick is that to constantly stir, let it sit, and that's why it's called stir fry. You have to constantly stir, let it cook evenly. So I'm going to let this sit here for about five minutes. So it's been five to six minutes. As you can see, it's wolfed it down a little bit. Um, preferably, um, use a wooden spoon. You don't want to scratch your pan, but I'm going to use this to help me scoop out the vegetable. I'm going to set this aside in a bowl. And um, I also add maybe three to four tablespoons of water because it's getting dry. So it's okay if you want to add water to help cook the cabbage, especially the cabbage is very hearty so it takes a lot longer to cook than the red bell pepper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scoop this all out now, aside, and to it I'm going to add the shrimp. You do not need to wash or rinse anything, just add the leftover oil that you reserved earlier. So the same process. And the shrimp is going to take very quick to cook. It's going to take about three to four minutes and then we're going to add everything back in the pan. So here it is. It's still hot. I'm going to put the oil back in here. 
I'm going to use the rest of the garlic and ginger. And I'm going to put the heat in medium. And here's the shrimp. And to it, I'm going to let it sit. So I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. To it, I'm going to add the salt and pepper, the leftover salt and pepper. Again, this is about two tablespoons of salt and a tablespoon of pepper. And you know, at the end, you can taste around and add more to your liking, but you have to go easy with the sodium because we're also adding soy sauce at the end. So I'm going to let this sit here for a good three minutes. And after that, I'm going to add the vegetable back in along with the pasta. And then we're going to put the spinach last. So I'm going to let this sit here for a good two or three minutes until you see it turn pink and no longer translucent. So it's been about three minutes. I'm going to add the vegetable back in here. And to that, I'm going to add the pasta with it. I'm going to add a little bit of thyme. Just mix it in, stir it in so they're all mixed evenly. Oh, excuse so that. This is about a 12 inch. Pan. So if you have a larger skillet or a nonstick frying pan, you can use that also. I'm going to stir it up real nice so everything's mixed evenly. I know you're saying how what you're going to do with the spinach. Obviously, the spinach doesn't take that long and it's easily... Well, you can actually toss the spinach um, as you put this in a bowl and let it cook because the heat is still hot. But I'm going to put half in here and the other half will go on the bowl after I dish it out. And to that, um, I'm going to add the soy sauce I had earlier to try to drizzle it evenly. And again, this is to um, add some coloring. And it's optional because, um, you know, check with your guests and whoever's eating if they're not allergic to um, soy product. And I'm also going to put um, sesame oil at the end. So make sure you check to see that um, there's no food allergies with whoever's eating the food that you're cooking. Shrimp especially. Um, as an alternative, you can also use any meat. You can use chicken, ground turkey. And you can use any mixture of your vegetable. You can use collard green, broccoli rock. Basically any greens you want. Just don't overdo it. Try to pick two or three, but since I love vegetable, so I put cabbage along with the bell pepper. So I'm going to toss this up nicely. Notice I'm stir-frying and tossing it evenly, trying to get a good coating of all the sauce. You can smell it. It only smells very, um, it smells very good in here right now. So I'm going to let this sit for another minute. So it's cooked well now. I'm going to add half the spinach here. And if you find it's overwhelming, this is often you put more or less whatever you want. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have half of it in here. So the spinach, I was able to put them all in here and I actually turned the heat to medium. And um, I was constantly stirring it for a good five to six minutes. And then um, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of turmeric here. So just a little bit. I mean, it's already colorful enough, but I just love. So just maybe that was about four pinches there or maybe half of a teaspoon. And um, so I'm going to stir it. And the other optional ingredients um, is the sesame oil here. So I'm going to drizzle it. Just give a flavor. So I'm going to drizzle that there. So I'm going to give it one good final 
stir. And I'm going to put in this big serving bowl here. And at the end, you taste it. If you need more, then you can always add soy sauce on the side. And um, you can garnish it with cilantro on the top. But today I'm going to garnish it with scallion, which I didn't mention in the beginning. So I cut up a two um, scallion and uh, or spring onions, some people call it. So chopped it up like this and I'm going to toss it on top of it when I put it in the serving bowl. And it's optional. If you don't like onion, you I mean, you already have garlic in there, you know. So it's optional. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scoop this in here. Let me swap over for my other spoon. So I'm going to scoop this in here and just look at the color. So it's very vibrant. This is a good dish to serve anytime. Good comfort food. For me anyway stir fries. I love it. And it's easy to make. You saw that. Um, you can pretty much make any stir fry except for fish, you know, and with any vegetable you want. So I'm going to dish it here onto this bowl. I'm going to shut the heat off. So I'll say overall it takes about 15 to 20 minutes at most to, to cook these. The preparation before that you saw maybe another 5 minutes if any. And um, you can also buy your shrimp already peeled in the vein. I actually had my sister help me out with the peeling of the shrimps earlier. So that can take a while. But if you want to save time, just get the one at the supermarket already frozen, peeled in the vein for you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the scallion on top. And it's such a pretty um, bowl. You have the yellow, the green, you have the shrimp, you have the pasta. And then in my household, I do have dipping sauce with lemon, sugar, a little fish sauce. Um, but today I think I'm going to um, put sriracha sauce on the side with this. Uh, we do like sriracha sauce on our food give a good hint of spice. So with that being said, I show you here bow tie pasta with shrimp and mixed vegetable. Enjoy and thank you for watching me. Uh, please comment and subscribe to my YouTube. It's let's eat at sign sport bowl sp4 kful. I know it's a teacher thing sport bowl sp4 the number 4 kful. Bon appétit.